Mercedes Sprinter chassis is the most expensive van platform on the market, but surprisingly, it is the most widely used one. Is it about the looks, reliability, versatility, powerful engine with all-wheel drive, or comfortable driving experience with the most advanced safety features? Well, probably it's all of those things. But let's confirm this assumption by looking at the lineup of new camping vans in 2024 based on the Sprinter chassis that provides numerous layouts, powerful off-roading skills, and an unforgettable highway cruising experience. Subscribe to Must See Tech, ring the bell, and let's roll! Outside Vans – Slim Chance This custom project by the Oregon-based Outside Vans was created specifically for travelers who love wind sports. The model was designed in cooperation with the professional kite boarder Evan Yespen and kite surf gear manufacturer Nash USA. Even the name Slim Chance was chosen since it is a particularly difficult surfing trick. As a starting point for the build, the company selected a 144-inch Mercedes Sprinter chassis with a 2-liter turbo engine. It was then fitted with an agile off-road RIP suspension kit, 17-inch Rhino Atlas wheels, and BF Goodrich KO2 tires. The cabin of the van was outfitted to accommodate two people comfortably. It has a large Murphy bed in the rear, a fully equipped galley kitchen, and a diesel furnace for four-season capability. However, special attention was paid to making sure there is enough place for all of the kite surfing gear. The van received lots of storage compartments, a gear slider in the rear, and molly panels. Outside Vans also equips the model with power tools required for equipment assembly. These are powered by a 960 amp hour battery juiced by 140 watt solar panel. Finally, the Slim Chance gets a pack mule hitch platform that can be used to create an outside shower. Earthship Vans ESV1 the Denver-based Earthship Vans builds adventure vehicles for customers who prefer unpaved roads and longer stays in the wild. Based on the Sprinter 170 all-wheel drive chassis, the ESV1 features aluminum front and rear bumpers from Backwoods, Mando mudguards for improved clearance, a drifter roof rack, crossbars with a 50-inch LED bar, and an outside awning. There is also an expedition box, a spare tire carrier, and side steps from all vans. Positioned as a luxury adventure van, the model comes standard with Earthship's full interior package, which includes Havelock wool insulation throughout, marine grade vinyl flooring, ceramic and sound dampening from lizard skin, while a premium hydronic diesel heater system that manages cabin air heat, in floor radiant heat, and hot water provide genuine all season capability. The overall interior layout is quite conventional, but potential owners get everything they need, including a dining area, a kitchen with a two-burner induction cooktop, a bathroom, and plenty of overhead cabinets. The standard electrical package includes 400 ampere hour of Victron lithium-ion batteries and a 3 kW inverter. Nuke Vans Nuke Vance was born out of passion for architecture and construction that formed on the sunny beaches of Haiti. The founder Kyle Fishburne and his Los Angeles-based team built Nuke Vance on the 4x4 Mercedes Sprinter van chassis with a diesel engine and either short 144 or long 170-inch wheelbase. Unlike many conversions, the Nukes go big on bathroom comforts, offering a full unit called the Utility Spa. This innovative design allows the rear section to transform from a wet bathroom with a steam shower to a storage unit or garage. The 67.2 square feet interior features a hideaway kitchen and a versatile living area that serves as both a lounge and a bedroom. The foot prep block incorporates a deep sink, a slide-out dual induction stovetop drawer, removable bins, and a sizable fridge, presenting itself as a culinary transformer on wheels. Customization options include radiant heated floors, AC, and a Starlink. Plus, by adding solar panels and installing heavy-duty wheels, tires, and suspension, this van transforms into a sustainable all-terrain mobile home. By the way, in 2024, Nuke also cooperated with Maxwell and created a special interior for the electric van based on the Rampro Master EV. 
Now the production model will be marketed as an Inuk or as a Maxwell Venetia. If you agree that sprinters are the ultimate camping platform, if you can afford it, then make sure to smash the like button and stick around till the end. We keep prowling. Innova Road Trip 595L Las Vegas-based Kalachi Customs is expanding the range of European camper vans available in the US by importing the luxurious Innova Road Trip all the way from Netherlands. Inspired by the sea, this Dutch creation features a distinctive rounded floor plan, yacht deck style flooring, and a well equipped kitchen for preparing large meals to be enjoyed around the picnic table. The Road Trip 595L is built on the Mercedes Benz Sprinter 144 with rear wheel drive, or optionally all wheel drive. It boasts a unique rear lounge layout with a rounded U shaped sofa, which folds down to complete a frolly sprung double bed. The floor is handmade and designed to mimic polished wood, while the walls and ceiling are covered with a washable sky leather paneling. The kitchen block includes a three-burner Thetford stove, 80-liter fridge and a sink, while the full wet bathroom on the driver's side offers a shower, sink and a domatic chemical toilet. Priced at a reasonable $200,000, the road trip comes with a Victron electric system based on a 110 ampere hour AGM battery, a solar package, a 1.6 kilowatt inverter, and various optional upgrades with stylish Scandinavian flair. Winnebago Adventure Van in the recent years, Winnebago has undergone a significant image transformation by focusing on small, versatile camper vans for adventurous individuals. Their latest camper van is a collaboration with Adventure Wagon. It is the lightest and most flexible design yet. Based on the Sprinter 170, this limited edition van is built for versatility and is able to transition from a work vehicle to an extended camping adventure in no time. Winnebago insulated the van panels and installed Adventure Wagon's L tracks on the floor, walls, and ceiling. The rest of the components are fully modular and can be removed. Two travelers can sleep on the three panel Moab longitudinal bed, enhanced with Winnebago's own wind sleep mattress for added comfort. The compact water system was sourced from Domatic. It is an 11 liter HYD canister with an electric faucet and a collapsible sink. Electricity needs are satisfied by a 3.6 kWh EcoFlow power station that juices an induction cooktop. There is a Dolmatic 40 liter fridge freezer with its own battery, and one of the seats hides a Thetford porta potty. Outside Vans Approach Unlike the other outside van on our today's list, the Approach represents the brand's ready made model line. It builds on the 170-inch Mercedes Sprinter with standard all-wheel drive, but fits it with the new 17-inch black Rhino wheels, BF Goodrich KO2 tires, a 50-inch light bar from Rigid Industries, and a safari-style roof rack accessible via an aluminum ladder. The van comes painted in selenite gray metallic or stone gray, plus it gets an outside van trademark wrap. Inside, the approach is designed to carry a family of four. The four seats with seat belts up front can be turned into a dinette. You just swivel the front row and set up the hidden dinette table. The rear of the van is occupied by two twin beds, plus a double bed can be stacked up above them at night. The middle section is dedicated to a galley kitchen with a sink, a microwave and a portable induction cooktop. Opposite the kitchen, outside have placed a hidden water box hidden inside a bench seat. It houses a porta potty and can be reconfigured to serve as a mini shower. The latter is connected to 20 gallon fresh and 22 gallon wastewater tanks. Naturally, the approach gets a comprehensive electrical package that consists of a 13.2 kWh lithium ion battery by Volta, a 140 watt solar panel, and a 3.2 kW inverter. You also get a Rixon hydronic diesel system responsible for water and cabin heating. So what do you say? Are Ford Transit and Ram Pro Master remotely viable alternatives to the mighty Sprinter? Tell us in the comments below. Subscribe to Must See Tech and smash the like button if you want to see more camper vans on our channel. Ring the bell and proceed to exploring the 2024 RV lineup through the links in the screen and in the description. We'll see you soon.